and I also have to let somebody in. Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> so I'll say that just quickly one more time before we continue since I forgot to press record. We were working on our bat writing and now we're going to move on to talking about protecting butterflies, okay? Morning, Adanya, again. Nice Morning, to Adanya. You. All right, so here's your target. I'll say it and then you say it back, okay? Okay. okay. I can. I can. Respond to questions. Respond, respond to questions. questions. About key details. About key details. Key details. From help protect butterflies. From help protect butterflies. Okay, so we're actually going to read two different texts today. Um, one called Help Protect Butterflies, but before that, we're going to read a book called um, A Place for Butterflies. It's just like that that book that we read, except it's about butterflies. So it's from the same um, the same series, you know. And the same author wrote it. Yes, that's true too. Okay, so Miss Ishley and I are going to read it to you kind of quickly, just because we do have two texts to read, okay? Thumbs up if you're ready to go. Bella's ready. All right. Birthday girl, Birthday ready to go? book is on Epic, so you can reread it whenever you would like to. Yeah, I can put the link up for you, definitely. Okay, here we go. A Place for Butterflies. Miss Ishley, do you want to just read the top parts today? Yes, I think that would be best. All right, let's go. Butterflies fill our world with beauty and grace, but people do things to make it hard for them to live and grow. If we work together to help these special insects, there will always be a place for butterflies. Like all living things, butterflies need to eat certain foods. Many adult butterflies feed on flower nectar. When people have gardens in their yards, butterflies can live and grow. The pictures in this book are so beautiful. The illustrations, look at that butterfly. I know, they like really well, really well. Put your well. finger on your nose if you've seen a butterfly in your yard or outside of your house or apartment. Yeah, most of us. Okay. Some butterflies feed on sugary tree sap. When people work to protect forests, butterflies can live and grow. Many caterpillars eat only one kind of plant. Some caterpillars depend on plants that grow on burned land. When people let some natural wildfires burn, butterflies can live and grow. That's interesting. Some caterpillars depend on plants that grow to wet, in wet places. Sorry, I was chatting. When people protect swamps and marshes, butterflies can live and grow. Hi, Dev. We're reading about butterflies. Um, we're reading about butterflies, but Ms. Deacon, we're talking about caterpillars. Who can raise their hand to tell me why we're talking about caterpillars when we're reading about butterflies? That's a good question. Briella, can you unmute yourself and answer that? Why are we talking, why am I saying caterpillar when this book is all about butterflies? Because they're the same. Because a caterpillar does what? Uh, they turn into butterfly. <laughs> they trans, they turn into butterflies. Perfect. Thank you. I just wanted to clear that up. So friends, every butterfly starts as a caterpillar. So here we go. Some caterpillars depend on plants that are poisonous to cattle and sheep. When farmers let these plants grow in fields where their animals don't graze, butterflies can live and grow. Some caterpillars depend on plants that attack the tree, trees people use to make paper. When people leave these plants alone, butterflies can live and grow. Butterflies need more than just food to survive. They also need, a, need to stay safe and healthy. Some butterflies are so beautiful that people like to catch and keep them. When laws stop people from collecting these special insects, butterflies can live and grow. You guys have all been to the Strong Museum, right? Have you all been there? Yep. You know the butterfly garden? You've been in that part? Most of you have. I've taken most of you there. <laughs> um, <laughs> so when you go in and there's, you have to go through one door and then there's a hallway and you have to go through that other door that's like locked shut and they have to scan their badge. You remember that part to get in? That's because those butterflies can only be kept by scientists and people who have special permission to 
um, collect those butterflies. So like I couldn't I go outside. I take care of butterflies. Yeah, I know you do. But I couldn't go outside and catch some types of butterflies. That would be against the law because they're so rare and um, fragile. Legendary. Definitely legendary. Mm -hmm. Some butterflies are harmed by chemicals used to kill other insects. When people stop using these chemicals or spray them very carefully, butterflies can live and grow. Some butterflies have trouble surviving when new plants invade the areas they live in. When people choose native plants for their yards, butterflies can live and grow. So like plants that, are, that would naturally grow in your area are native. Butterflies have trouble surviving when their natural homes are destroyed. Many butterflies can only live in open fields. When people create new grassy areas, butterflies can live and grow. They know who's doing what and they've asked you not to do that. Some butterflies can only survive in sandy thickets near the ocean. When people work to restore these wild places, butterflies can live and grow. When too many butterflies die, other living things may also have trouble surviving. That's why it's so important to protect butterflies and the places they live. Kind of like the bats. Butterflies have lived on Earth for 140 million years. Some of the things people do can harm butterflies, but there are many ways you can help these special insects live far into the future. I'm gonna stop there, because today I really wanna focus on the dangers that butterflies face. Um, but who can tell us one thing that is dangerous to butterflies? What is one of the things that makes it hard for butterflies to survive? London? Chemicals. Chemicals, yeah. So people spraying chemicals on their plants or their gardens or their yards. Good job, London. What's another one? Another thing that's dangerous to butterflies or that makes it hard for them to survive. How about on this page? Butterflies have trouble surviving when their natural homes are destroyed. So what do people do sometimes to the places where butterflies live? Imad? Destroy their homes. Yeah, they destroy their homes to build houses or buildings or power lines like in this picture. All right, so there are lots of things that are dangerous to butterflies. We're gonna go back to our learning target and we're going to do some reading, okay? So we're gonna read you this other text called Help Protect Butterflies. And then your job today is gonna to be to answer these six questions here, not right here, but you'll do it on a Google form. And they're multiple choice or selected response questions, okay? I'm good. You still with us, friends? Adani, yeah. I can help you with that afterwards, okay? But I'm going to read for now. All right, Miss Ishla, are you ready, Freddie? I'm ready. Here we go. This is called Help Protect Butterflies. Butterflies are important pollinators. They help the plants we eat to grow. Some butterflies are in danger, though. Weather patterns around the world are changing. Changes in weather can cause problems for butterflies. Oh, I heard something that can cause problems for butterflies. What is it? Two. Who's gonna tell me what it is? It is. It's um. um it's uh, wind. What'd you say? Wind. 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 So kind of, it's the weather, right? When the weather yeah. changes, it's dangerous. Thank you, Adanya, for sharing. These changes in weather can be a problem for butterflies for many reasons. They can cause a drought. A drought is a long time with little or no rain. The plants that caterpillars eat can't grow without rain. It can also kill flowers. And then butterflies cannot get enough to eat. So no rain equals no plants equals no food for the butterflies. The changes in weather can also cause strong storms. Storms are a big problem for butterflies. Heavy rain can damage their wings. Even a single raindrop can harm a butterfly, but butterflies can stay safe if there are plants where they can hide. 
Changing weather also affects the temperature outside. This is another problem for butterflies. The change in temperature can affect when butterflies reproduce and migrate. Butterflies may do these things at the wrong time if the temperature gets too hot or cold. Butterflies can be in danger from changing weather patterns. Let's help butterflies by protecting the places they live. Bless you. Thank you. Um, so some words that you might need to know, reproduce means to make a new plant or animal and migrate means to change their location or their habitat. So this text told us all about how the environment affects butterflies. So this was less about what people do and more about natural things that happen um, to the weather and the temperature. So have you guys ever noticed like one day it's like really warm, but it's kind of still winter time, but it gets really warm and then it gets really cold again the next day because we live in Rochester, you know? That's yeah. Funny, yeah. So that can really affect animals like butterflies because if they lay their eggs and then it gets cold again, their um, caterpillars might not hatch out of their eggs. You know what I'm saying? Yes. All right. So remember, you're going to work on these questions um, on your own. But I want to talk about some selected response strategy. You know, Miss Ishla, you know what I'm talking about? Remember, we had an anchor chart in our classroom. We so did, but we're not there, Ms. Ishla. So I remember that the first thing in the selective response anchor chart was to read the question and read all of the choices. Mm. You know what, Ms. Ishla, I'm going to pull up the actual assignment, okay? So give me just one second, because then we can, like, click on it, you know, guys? That would be better. All right. I'm going to open it. Here we go going to share it. Okay, so this is what your assignment's going to look like instead of the one that was on the slide, okay? So you have six questions and they're all multiple choice questions. So you have four options to choose from. Ms. Ishley, what did you say you would do first? So first you read the entire question and all of the choices. Okay. So, so number one, I would say I would read to myself. What is the main topic of help protect butterflies? Is it changes in weather are dangerous for butterflies? Is it strong storms and rain are dangerous for butterflies? Is it too much heat or cold is dangerous for butterflies? Or is it plants dying is dangerous for butterflies? That's a tricky one because we did talk about all of those things in the text. Right. So then I, I always go back and I reread the question. What is the main topic of help protect butterflies? And I can only choose one of those. So now I'm going to think in my head, which one doesn't really make sense? And I'm going to kind of cross it out. So the one that really doesn't make sense for me is plants dying is dangerous for butterflies. That's true, but it's not the main topic of what we just read. Yeah, it was in there a little bit, but it wasn't the main topic. Then and I'm then, also gonna cross out another one. Which one? And that one is the one that says, too much heat or cold is dangerous for butterflies. Yeah, I agree. And if you had this on a piece of paper in front of you, you would cross it out with your pencil. But since you don't, you kind of have to think in your brain and remember which ones you crossed out. So Ms. Dishley crossed out these bottom two. So now she's going to choose between changes in weather are dangerous for butterflies and strong storms and rain are dangerous for butterflies. So now I'm stuck between two. Changes in weather or strong storms. I know that we read about strong storms and rain being dangerous for butterflies. However, I know that the main topic of help protect butterflies was that the changes in weather are dangerous for butterflies. So, so that the, response makes the most sense for the question. So on this form, you just click the circle that you want to choose. If you want to change your answer, you can click a different circle, okay? I know we probably never used this multiple choice system yet. Um, hey, birthday girl. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> Good morning. So you're going to answer these six questions that are here. I'm going to try to, can you see the PowerPoint, Missy Shelley, or no? 
can't see the PowerPoint, I can see the questions. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the PowerPoint. Sometimes it lets me switch and sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, you're going to answer these six questions. I'm gonna try to put the text onto the Google form, but if I can't, if it won't let me, then I'll put it on Google Classroom on your assignment so you can go back and reread the text because it does ask you questions like, what is the focus of paragraph two? Now to answer that, you have to go back and reread paragraph two all on your own. Okay, so you'll reread this paragraph and then you'll go and answer the question. I'll try my best to put it right on the um, form for you, okay? To see if it'll work. All right, so that is your um, job for today. If you feel like you really need to finish your bat writing, you can um, finish your conclusion here. If you feel like all that you can handle today is doing these questions, then that is fine too, okay? Okay, yeah. All right, if you don't have any questions and you're ready to go, you can go ahead and get started. If you do have questions, then here we are. I have a question. What's yeah, buddy? Can we do both of those? Of course you can. Absolutely. Okay. All right, guys. Naya, you can wake up, honey. <laughs> you guys can go ahead and get started, okay? Bye. Bye.